Hey, but this looks really nice. There's the sun and then there's the... Um, the... Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and today I'm gonna take a photo walk with the Fuji X-T4 and the Fujinon 23mm f2 lens. The weather is kind of nice or really nice actually. It's about 5 degrees warm and sunny which is kind of unusual for early January here in Helsinki where I live. But uh, let's take some pictures and see what this Fuji combo can do for us today. I like this bright sunshine because it creates all kinds of light and shadow possibilities not like the usual gloomy overcast weather that we have here in in winter time here in, in the in the north fuji is known for its excellent jpegs but i'm shooting raw today because i don't want to decide right now right here with what kind of look i want besides lightroom can simulate the fuji jpegs really really well I want to try to capture that uh, building behind me, the blue sky, the red brick building and the trees. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be anything too special, but it looks really nice. And I appreciate the blue sky at this time of the year. All right, aperture priority F8. And the blue sky looks really gorgeous indeed. Very, very nice. Yes. <laughs> There's another really nice handsome building behind me let's grab that too again aperture priority f8 and again the blue sky is really really nice looking my first impressions on this fuji is that it's not a small camera at all it's about the same size maybe even a little bit bigger than the sony a7 mark 4 so there's no real size benefit from uh, the small sensor in this case not that the smallest size would always be the best i mean especially today when i have to wear gloves i can certainly appreciate the little bit bigger camera body and the aperture ring and all the nice controls on this xt4 i wonder if i can do something with this line of trees here let's see again aperture priority f8 this is getting boring, I'm at f8 all the time. But I want all that depth of field that I can have in this one especially. I'm using the center autofocus point here and there's something annoying I realize with this camera. Every time I plan to take a picture, the autofocus point seems to be all over the place. Maybe I'm touching the joystick by accident or something, but it's a little bit annoying too. Uh, uh, center the uh, the recenter the autofocus point every time I plan to take a picture and I'm not touching the touch screen by accident because like you see it's uh, tucked away the screen all right that boat behind me looks really really nice the colors the reflections in the water and everything I'm gonna try if I can do something with that okay let's try here at F2 and get these trees a little bit blurry in the foreground and the nice colors of the boat and the boat shed or whatever shed that is in the in the background sharp there okay let's see how this looks okay let me try another one from this angle and now i'm gonna go all the way to f16 and maybe get a little bit of some negative exposure compensation here and maybe i can get some like a uh, star sun star in the picture i think i would be better off with the wider angle i don't like the shade on the right side of the picture but i'm gonna take the picture anyway hey but this looks really nice there's the sun and then there's the, um, the whatever you call the vapor from a uh, jet liner in the sky and uh, I'm gonna apply minus one negative, negative, minus one negative <laughs> exposure compensation. Maybe I can get the sun star here even better. It's in the, in the middle of the picture and the, the vapor from the vapor trail from the jetliner looks really, really nice in this picture. 
Yep. It's been a really long time since I used uh, a Fuji camera and uh, I like this camera a lot, uh, especially today with gloves, the general size is good and also the lens feels really nice. It seems like it's really, really well made. I love the aperture ring and it's weather sealed too. Not that today weather sealing is necessary, but you know, you never know, especially the, about the weather here in Helsinki, it can rain any time. <laughs> I think I've said it many times that I don't love the winter especially, but I still think it's sometimes amazing how the scene changes really fast uh, from one day to another day. Just the other day I took a picture here and everything was snow covered and the whole scene looked very very different from today. Okay, let's try to make at least one bokeh picture here. This uh, yellow color of this uh, whatever you call this plant here against the blue sky could look really nice f2 and aperture priority again all right maybe not as quite as nice as i thought but nice enough all right what about this that warm colored dry hay in the background and this blue pristine snow ice in the foreground and all those blue shadows in the foreground too. Aperture priority f11 to get all that necessary depth of field in the picture. Oh yes, and before I forget, I'd like to say big thanks to Color Colmio for letting me borrow this camera. They are the official Fujifilm representative here in Finland. Big thanks to them. Earlier in this video I told you it's a long time since I used a Fuji. But actually it's not that long. Uh, I made a, a photo walk with my friend Alexi uh, some time ago. I'll put the link up here so you can check it out. But uh, during that photo walk it was super super cold <laughs> and we were just trying to uh, concentrate on that. Tamron 18 to 300 millimeter lens and uh, somehow concentrating also on uh, surviving in that super cold weather so I didn't really get a good impression on the Fuji back then but today it's been much nicer experience with this Fuji. All right there's this lampshade inside there Let's see what I can do with that and some of the reflections in the glass. I think this looks really nice with the uh, brown and red chair and couch there and the, the reflections in the upper part of the glass. Yep, I like this. I like this. I think I captured some half decent pictures on this photo walk and I think a main purpose of a photo walk is just to you know practice your skills and have fun and enjoy and uh, the more you photo walk, the more you take pictures, the more chances you have to capture a keeper every once in a while. I have really enjoyed this X-T4 today and this 23mm uh, f2 lens and uh, I hope I can make more Fujifilm photo walks in the future and I'd love to try the GFX 100, the 100 megapixel medium format camera and see if it's worth all the hype. That building behind this uh, snow-covered rock and the sun reflecting from the window looks really cool and uh, I think it's gonna look really cool in the picture too. Aperture priority f1.6. But now it's time for that hot coffee <laughs> at the end of the photo walk. Thanks guys for joining in for this short photo walk with the Fujifilm X-T4 and the 23mm f2 lens and um, I'll see you in the next video.